Whoa, what is going on, Hoops fans? Back at it with another New York Knicks video. You, you guys notice anything different? No, I just want to say thank you to the Sports Influencer for creating that intro for me. I'm kind of testing it out. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of it. And if you guys like the old one, we'll stick with the old one. But uh, I thought he did a great job with that. I wanted to at least test it out and see what you guys had to think. But in this video, I'm going to jump into some of the quotes that came out from Tom Thibodeau, the New York Knicks newest head coach in his introductory press conference, talking about some of the reasons why he took the job with the New York Knicks and some of the reasons why he thinks this team will be very successful. He talked about some of the players that are currently on the roster. He talked about some of the guys that are in the upper management positions. So we'll get into all of it. In addition to that, it's been widely speculated that Mike Woodson may come on and join Thibodeau on the coaching staff, something that I am very excited about. I think him and Thibodeau make for a very good match. Thibodeau, of course, being known for being more defensive-minded. Woodson, while he was here, was kind of ahead of, the, ahead of the curve in terms of the offensive end. I always say it, how the New York Knicks in that 54-win season seemingly were kind of the Golden State Warriors before the Warriors. Obviously, not nearly as effective, but they went on to win 54 games, and a lot of it had to do with the fact that they kind of took the league by storm with their three-point frequency. So I think for, I think Woodson and Thibodeau would be a really good match, and it's rumored that he will be on the coaching staff. His exact role, that I do not know, but insiders are reporting that he will be with the New York Knicks. Tom Thibodeau has not gone as far to say that he definitely will be, and it's not completely official yet, but it's looking more and more likely that that will be the case, and I think that would be a wise decision. Mike Woodson, of course, was the last guy really who had any success with this team. Granted, the New York Knicks definitely had a lot more talent on that team than they do now, or at least developed talent. You have a lot of younger players on this team who have not hit their stride yet, but I do like the acquisition of Woodson if he is brought aboard with Tom Thibodeau. But I wanted to jump into some of the things that Thibodeau had to say about taking this job with the New York Knicks. So let's pull up some of the quotes. First thing I wanted to show you guys was this. This is a dream come true for me. This is my dream job, Thibodeau said during his introductory press conference. I've been there before. I have a great understanding of New York. I think we have the best city in the world. We have the best arena in the world. And we have the best fans in the world. And nothing he said there is false. Let's start with the fans. The New York Knicks fans, I say it all the time, not just in basketball, in New York. There is not a more passionate loyal fan base than New York Knicks fans. We have been thrown through the mud, put in the gutter for the last 15, 20 years. You guys continue to root on your team, um, whether they win five games or whether they win 70. Um, and it's been a lot closer to five over the last 15 to 20 years. But hopefully Thibodeau could get this team uh, back on track. So there's nothing there that he said that was wrong. And I love New York City. I completely agree. It's the best city in the world. And it is nice to have a guy that understands the culture of New York. He has been here before, not as a head coach, but he was an assistant with the New York Knicks for eight years. And like I said when they first hired Thibodeau, even though I'm not going to get overly excited, I've seen guys that I was excited about before fail, Larry Brown being one of them. Even though I'm not going to get completely excited, I do think he's going to bring that defensive mentality that New York Knicks fans love. They love those blue-collar teams. That is what Tom Thibodeau is all about. And I do think in that aspect, at least, it is a very good match. He then later goes on to say this uh, about how he plans to rebuild the New York Knicks and get them back to relevancy. You go step by step. You don't skip over anything. The first thing is you lay the foundation. Develop a plan, then work for the plan. The steps are incremental. You don't make major jumps without going through each step. So I think the first step is to establish the work ethic and how we want to play, he said. And, I mean, it kind of sounds a lot like Joe Judge. Obviously, I mainly cover the New York Giants on this channel, but it sounds a lot like Joe Judge. He wants to improve the culture. He wants to improve the work ethic. He's got, And the good thing here for Thibodeau and Joe Judge alike is that they have young players on this team. He doesn't have a ton of veterans, guys that are kind of set in their ways. He's able, You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Well, he's got a bunch of new puppies, as I always like to say with the New York Knicks rookies. He's going to, you know, he's going to teach these guys how to play basketball the right way, and that is effort on the defensive side of the basketball court. Next thing, talking about the players that are already on the team that he's inheriting. Based on film, I really think R.J. Barrett is a very bright future, has a very bright future, as does Mitchell Robinson. Those are the two who stand out, and that's obvious. I mean, Mitchell Robinson, the former second-round pick, should have never went there. The only reason Robinson dropped to the early second round uh, two years ago was due to the fact that he wasn't able to play college basketball the year before. He was on pace with Aiton, if you remember correctly. They were neck and neck coming out of high school. So 
he's definitely a guy with a very bright future. Very talented. He's got to stay out of foul trouble, but he's definitely got a high ceiling. R.J. Barrett, the sky's the limit. We need to hone his game a little bit. He needs to improve the free throw shooting. He needs to improve the three-point percentage. But R.J. Barrett has everything in a player that you could possibly need. But we have a lot of young talent. I don't like to make qualifications on people until I get around. With Frank Neal Keen and Kevin Knox, they're both young guys that have talent. And they do. I mean, both of them were former top 10 picks. That being said, I'm not going to make any real observations until I get to be around them. Like most young players, they are gro- they're, there are growing pains you go through, and there are steps players have to take. Sometimes we measure guys against guys already established, and you forget the steps that those guys had to take uh, have to take to get where they are. It's an important part of it. Understand how you get there is work, sacrifice, and commitment. One's determination and perseverance is critical to their development. And I love everything he said there. I mean, it's all about work with with Thibodeau. Next thing. Another reason why he took the job. The chance to work with team president Leon Rose and top Knicks executive William Worldwide Wes Wesley. Thibodeau, whose deal with the Knicks is expected to be five years, has known both Rose and Wesley for two decades. They've been involved in just about every major decision I've made, he said. So... That's good news there. He's talking about how he has a very strong relationship with the upper management with the New York Knicks. Now, of course, we've heard this before. We thought that there was a very, you know, they were cohesive in the in the prior regime when you had Fisdale, and that didn't work out. So hopefully this does. Like I said, not going to get too excited, but it's good to hear that they were a major reason why he took the job. Next thing. It appears Mike Woodson will be involved with the Knicks again as the Athletics uh, Shams, I don't know how to pronounce the last name, but I know Shams is a very credible insider, reports uh, his returning to the organization in a capacity. What that capacity will be, I don't know. Obviously, we have to assume that it will be as an assistant head uh, head coach. I'm going to get into his um, last two stops. He was an assistant with the LA Clippers from 2014 to 2018. Obviously, before that, he was the head coach for the New York Knicks for three years, from 2012 to 2014, where the Knicks had their most recent success. Like I said, they had that 54-win season. And I do think, like I've talked about in the past, one will complement the other. Thibodeau is known as a very strong defensive mind. Uh, Woodson will focus more on the offensive side of the basketball, if I had to guess. But I do think that they will have a good working relationship if they do, in fact, work together. I do like the match, and I'm hoping that Woodson comes on and when he officially comes on, I'll definitely have a video talking about that, his return to the New York Knicks. Been with the Clippers, though, for the last, uh, well, not last year, but five years prior to that, where the Clippers had some decent success. So there you have it. It sounds like Woodson will be with the New York Knicks. What his exact role will be, I don't know. Thibodeau is not willing to fully commit to it yet. Uh, I'm assuming until it uh, becomes official and they wrap up the entire coaching staff. As the New York Knicks start to bring in coaches, I'll definitely follow that. I'm looking forward to following the offseason for the New York Knicks, but Thibodeau continues to say the right things. I thought he had a very strong introductory press conference. I like to hear that this was his dream job, and all New York Knicks fans should welcome him with open arms. We know he's going to have to deal with growing pains. We know Knicks fans are impatient, but we got to give him a couple years. We have to wait and see how it all plays out, and hopefully he can get this team back on track. As always, guys, if you liked what you watched, please subscribe, drop a comment, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.